Hey, it's Adam Murphy, Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate here in Wisconsin. And this is part three, where we're talking business and tax loopholes uh, and, and depreciation. And my plan was actually to talk loans and leases associated with small business because they're so important. They're also important to big business. Um, but a question was asked, came in, talking about Section 179. And Section 179 is accelerated depreciation. And it's really specific for small businesses. And of course, small business is a relative term. Uh, actually, we'll talk about that perhaps and define it in another video. But in this case, what it allows small businesses to do is to write off the, the full capital expense, the expenditure for computer equipment, software, furniture, interior renovations. So you've leased space, but you need to build out walls right? uh, and equipment that generally lasts less than 20 years. So this could be server equipment. This could be a vehicle. And what it says as of 2017, so again, this is the Trump tax cut, the GOP tax cut from 2017, is that instead of 50%, you can now write off 100% of these in year one up to about a million dollars. Uh, and again, that's why I say small business is kind of relative. Um, but for a small business, like the example that I used, $100,000 profit, $20,000 in windows, well, to be able to write off that full $20,000 would be terrific. Unfortunately, those windows would still be over here in this category that have to be depreciated in the exterior renovations. So buildings and exterior renovations, things that are 20 years and longer for depreciation, were not incorporated into that accelerated depreciation. So in this case, it would not have affected our fictional small business from the previous example. But if I had bought $20,000 worth of computers, it absolutely would have, and I would have been write, able to write all of that off at one time. And so the question was, do I agree with 179 or disagree, right? And the truth is, I'm for it. I am a small business owner. I work with small businesses all the time. I love helping small business owners start and grow their business. And this depreciation aspect of things is something that can really catch somebody off guard because so many small business owners don't work with accountants. And if they don't know the tax laws and the tax implications, it's very easy to spend a lot of that profit not realizing that you might have to depreciate it. So from that perspective, I completely agree with it. I love the option of being able to have small businesses reinvest in their business and help grow their business earlier because that's how we get to bigger businesses, more successful businesses, more employees, and help the overall economy grow. So from that perspective, I'm absolutely for it. 